UW system announced Jennifer Manukin will replace Rebecca Blank as chancellor at UW-Madison, but this did not come without some criticism from Republicans. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss was among those slamming the decision, even going as far as to, to say he wanted to ask the Board of Regents to reconsider their decision. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Will? Right, so in addition, Republican Senator Steve Nas, who chairs the State Senate Higher Ed Committee, was among those admonishing the choice of Mnookin. And those criticisms could come with a real cost. Nas says the legislature could reduce funding for the university with Mnookin at the helm. But UW Regent Karen Walsh is not so sure. Honestly, um, I don't take those comments very seriously. I don't think that's realistic. At an introductory news conference today, the questions were more political. I would like for those folks to meet Chancellor Mnookin before they threaten our, our funding. Then about the policies, incoming UW-Madison Chancellor Jennifer Mnookin wants to implement. I'm really looking forward to talking to everyone and to work with everybody to find common ground and ways to move <clears throat> both the university and this great state forward. Republicans were quick to admonish the choice of Mnookin. They say she is too far left-leaning. Mnookin has donated to Democrats and moderated a panel on critical race theory while the dean of the UCLA Law School. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss said in a statement that this was a step back after, quote, all the work of Tommy Thompson and Rebecca Blank. We don't have a political litmus test. I think the proof is in the pudding. For example, we hired the state's longest serving GOP governor to run this system for two years. And, and the folks that Tony Evers uh, appointed uh, were 100% behind that. On the other side of the aisle, we hired Becky Blank, who worked in the Obama administration. After the press conference, Voss fired back. In response to our coverage, he said that, quote, it's the same arrogance and dismissive attitude that's the problem on issues like campus free speech. So Mnookin was chosen yesterday by a unanimous vote of the Board of Regents, which includes bipartisan appointees of both Governors Ever and Walker. Uh, there is still some time, though, before Mnookin takes the reins. Rebecca Blank will serve through the end of May, and Mnookin will start in early August. Will, thank you.